Hello, I'm going to show you my way that I came up with to make a four-way roof overhang where the roof overhangs, or not the roof, the uh, second story overhangs the first story on all four sides, also known as a cantilever. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but um, here's how I came up with it. Um, basically, you do your main studs or joists, whatever, um, they're going to overhang on both sides, of course, so they just extend past the wall. But you're not going to want to put any on the outside. Keep it like, I don't know how far in, probably farther in. Like this, this one shouldn't even be here. I would probably leave this one as the last one. Same on this side. I would make it a little bit farther in. And then, once you're done with that, in real life, you would put joist hangers right here. And then you would attach more joists going perpendicular going this way and so they would be balancing on the top of the wall and they would be held onto the other joist by a joist hanger so if you were to push down out here it would pull up on this joist and there would be a joist hanger so it would hold it but um and this wall would act as a support and like i said it should be these should go a little farther back and so i have pictures here so there's the first part there's what you would do second and then you would add these on with the joist hanger, so it should look like a big plus sign. And then you're going to add the rim board. The rim board is, is what goes around the outside and uh, covers up the uh, ends of the joists. So you'll do that, and then you'll have these four squares. And then you just would put your joist hangers here and here, so they would be on this joist and on the rim board. And then you would just go ahead and finish it. Um, and now the problem with this is your joists are going two separate directions and generally with plywood you would want them to go in the same direction and that's not a problem all you would have to do is put blocking in between the joists I only did it between two of them here because it's hard to do on this program but see how I have, just have like these little blocks here you would do another one here another one here another one here and you would just do that all the way across all the way across and then even though these joists are going perpendicular there's still always gonna be a joist every you know 16 inches or whatever and so uh, then everything would be going the same direction but that's just a little bit extra work so that's just my little way um, that I came up with I don't know if that would be like legal or whatever but um like I said you know if these were just moved back one joist it would actually be very strong it would be balancing on that wall the wall would act as a support, and then joist hanger would hold it. And uh, so, I don't know, tell me what you think, or if you know of a different way of doing this, um, leave it in the comments. But that's just my way.